So it's important that you kind of try to plug that antisocial psychological element into yourself. So I want you to, in your free, share on the stick, stay out the fucking way, and what I want you to do is imagine, <laughs> breaking, boom, <laughs> stabbing, boom, <laughs> barring, boom, <laughs> cutting in the head. Got it? It's not going to give you a fucking good day, is it? Yeah. It's a short spear, right? That's what it is. Whereas if we use the other side, we've got pulls trauma in the same way as you just used. So a broken broom handle is a useful tool. If someone went, fend him off with this mop. <laughs> This is stopping it, this is giving you distance. Best way to make this give me distance is not just push him away, but push off him as I get back. And now maybe I'll just ah, make that target. You see it, Bill? Same here, push that angle shot, stopping this, boom, driving that, boom, here's the shot. Make sure you understand what you're doing. I want to put him in range for the last two inches of the bat. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> What's the purpose of this first? Stop the knife, yes? Purpose of this, stop the knife. Yeah? What else, when I've done this, this give me? Space. Because I want to cave in with this, right? So the first shot is boom, stop that, and then for the sake of you've got no helmet, but you can fire it across the chest. Well, if I can run now, I'm running. So keep it gives me two miles, right? But unlikely, boom, I do this, bam, and I do that, bam, and there's the shot. See the deal? That's why you get more effect from it if you've got a helmet on. Yeah? Understand I'm using a soft stick. I'm trying to turn it <laughs> Trying to be a better person, I think. That's spirit of making it. It's kind of changing it. Right? So I'm going to stop the edge. Boom! And boom! And boom! Fuck off! Oh, my God. For the purpose of practice. Well, ideally, you don't want to wait for him to cook off with more than one. Right? Because if he's determined, he'll overwhelm you. So literally, it's a shot, boom, to, to get this stopped and then hit in the face. You're getting inside of his OODA loop. Do you understand OODA loop? You're getting inside of his OODA loop. You're making him observe and orientate that he's being assaulted. And before he can decide what to do about it, he's reorientating that you're assaulting him again. That's why it's particularly useful if you attack on more than one attack line. So if I boom, hit you high, and bam, kick you in the bollocks, I hit you high low. I'm giving you more to think about. Do you understand? <coughs> I want to keep you constantly reacting to me. But the way you'd employ that is as soon as you stopped one, repost, attack, and run. Don't stand here fencing. You make sense? Yeah. You would only do more than one for the purpose of the practice of the drill. That's all you would do. All right, put that kick down for now. Just think, block the channel. Just think, block the channel, right? Don't try and match the hand, just block the channel. Alright. Alright. 
Yes, absolutely. So fuck off. Yes. So that's that's where we're looking at it. I'm looking at this to stop this and get gone at the, the first opportunity. So it's not about me teaching him a lesson, retribution or winning with him on the floor. It's about stopping him from stabbing me and getting gone. That's what it's about, right? So same way. So first of all, you're going to look at that low stab. Now, when you stop that low stab, you want to stop it at the wrist. Because if I stop it at the bicep, his wrist is still moving. Do you see? And when I stop it, I need to lock out my arms and shrug my shoulders because now my skeletal structure is supporting me. Because if it's bent and his arm's stronger than mine, it will fold. You see? And what I also want to do is I want to pike my body away from it. So when it comes with that stab, I want to do that. And literally, straight off that, boom, I'm doing that. You see? Oh, fucking sorry. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. I'm good. <laughs> yeah? So the what could I do? I could do this repost and hit with that, then I can go boom. Yeah? I could possibly from here stop this, kick him in the bollocks and then him on the back of the head. Yeah? I could stop this fucking leg it and run. Any number of things. But what I'm doing here, I'm using this as a synthetic ally to help me in this situation. And I'm using it to a degree as a force multiplier. Because it's allowing me to bring more force in terms of my retaliation to this situation than if I just had skin. Make sense? The first part of the screw is this. You're just going to go, I don't have to go a minute. Just stop the thrust. Boom. And again, stop the thrust. Boom. Stop the thrust. Boom. And the head. Okay? And the next one, we're going to go for that angle step into the neck. Lethal, right? So I want to stop the stop step. Stop the step. Stop the step. Stop the step. The fuck off. It's a, a, a bag that you could use as a rucksack, in which case you're going to have a pad. Or you can have some sort of stick like structure which could replicate the umbrella or something that you've managed to pick up. Your choice. So you either have a stick or the bag to counter your knife wielding assailant. Does that make sense? based on what you've put together so far from this class or anything that you feel that you know, let's see what happens now, yes? So let's have a little example, can we use you? Take that off. Take that ridiculous thing off. Yes, yeah, so we're going to yeah. stick with this kind of space proximity. Mm -hmm. right. So maybe you, if you had a structure like a bag, you might say, Stand where you are! Fucking stay back! Show me your hands! Right, so you are demanding a show of hands, taking away the element of surprise if he's handing it behind the neck behind his back. You're also alerting people in the immediate vicinity that you are under assault. You're not doing that because anyone's going to help you. Because society today will not fucking help you. Do you know that? If a woman's getting raped, she's got more chance of help if she shouts fire than rape. It's how sad this society is with beta males now, right? But nonetheless, you are creating a disturbance. Someone now will probably pull out their phone, probably to morbidly film the situation, rather than phone the authorities. But nonetheless, you are creating a record of this event. If I am seen saying, stay back, put your fucking knife down, put it down. Am I the person who's the agitator? Absolutely not. So now if I am forced to end you, and I do it successfully, I did it out of an act of sheer desperation. Do you understand? So when I face the second enemy, or the third enemy, so the first enemy is you. You've got to control the fear. Control your emotional response. Give yourself the green light permission in your head to be fucking combative. So that's the first adversary that you have, yes? Second adversary that you have, is the count of the night. And then once you've dealt with him, the third adversary that you have are the consequences post-event, particularly if you find yourself in a court of law. So understand now, 
the incident with the guy driving illegally, who was over here illegally, who had a machete in his car that got pulled by a police officer. And the police officer pulled him and the guy attacked him with the machete and hacked him three times in the head. Nasty injuries. Lucky for him it was blunt, but it had nasty injuries. He managed to taser him. That copper ended up in court, prosecuted for tasering that adversary. That's the fucking world we live in, right? That's the world we live in. That person had better legal counsel as the attacker than that cop trying to keep his job. Unbelievable. So there's three enemies, right? But your, your first enemy is with you. You've got to overcome the emotional response. The second enemy is what you're dealing with. And the third enemy is the consequences of the event. So what you are seen doing and heard saying <coughs> by impartial witnesses can work in your favour or to your detriment. So say the right fucking things. Put a knife down! Put it down now! This kind of thing. See the deal? <laughs> then he's going to not listen to you. He's going to close on you and deal with him whatever way he can. Understand that in the dealing with him... Take it. Oh, sorry, you're going to use the thing. No, you're fine. Right? In the dealing with him, there's a still a high <laughs> probability that he's going to get cut. High probability. His objective is that he doesn't get cut anywhere lethally. Does that make sense? Yeah. As soon as the threat's down, you stay down. And I want you to get over here, which replicates the place of safety. And then I want you to self-medical triage and then pull out your phone. You understand the joke? Yes? Right, let's have a look. Fuck! Dude, man, what the fuck's behind you? Fuck it, wait! Don't do anything, bro! Fuck it! Oh, dude! Oh, dude! Self. Oh, 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 o